All right, I'm gonna get all these parts on the Warrior here and see how much better she runs. So this will be a little install mantra video, I guess. Instead of breaking it all down into individual ones, I'm just gonna record getting all this stuff on here real quick. We got a new carb and uh, a new oil filter, fuel filter. Got some extra ones that come with different kits and such. Got a few different jets in here for the carb. Um, but since we're relatively low or close to sea level, hopefully whatever is in it is good to go. Uh, some of the reviews, most people said that it was good to go, but I know people in higher elevation had some issues and they had to change out the jets. Hopefully that won't be an issue for me because we're only at like two or 300 feet. New fuel lines to replace my leaking fuel line. I'm gonna replace all of them. And uh, I got a plug here somewhere I dropped and my new filter so let's get to it also i'm going to change the oil and uh get that chain lube on there that i forgot last time so we'll get all this on here and see how it runs if you didn't catch it i already posted the uh, first start video after this thing's been sitting for four years in a barn and got it running it was just running really poopy i was surprised it ran at all with the original carb and plug and all that but uh if you missed that and you want to check it out you can go look at that and uh so it was running pretty crappy so this video will serve as a comparison after i get all these new parts on here see how much better it runs so that's nifty i guess this whole thing here is the drain plug it's not just this bolt it's this entire thing here and uh this has been hit by a rock or something and it's pushing against it so i can't get it out so i'm gonna have to get a, a crowbar pry bar or something up in there uh, bend this out, hammer it out a little bit or something so I can get the drain plug out. Okay, so changed the plug, topped off with uh, fresh oil. I am replacing everything, as I said, but again, just out of curiosity, I left it set with the gas on uh, because last time I drove it, uh, the more I drove it, the better it seemed to run. So um, I left the gas sitting on to try to kind of clean out the carb. Uh, it's been about a week. So again, just for shits and giggles, I'm gonna try to start it up, see if it runs any better than uh, last week when I had it running. Although uh, I doubt it. But we'll just see. And uh, that's not going to stop me from... Unless it runs absolutely perfect, I'm still swapping out the carb today. Fired right up that time, that's full choke. I'm gonna let it warm up, and see what happens. Well, it's still running pretty shitty. Um, it's popping and 
misfiring like crazy and it won't stay running even though it's starting to warm up unless they keep it on full choke just like last time uh last time i was able to it, it wouldn't stay running with the choke off unless i kept giving it a throttle so it's not really running any better i mean it fired up a lot quicker but uh it's still running like crap so before the engine gets too hot i'm gonna go ahead and uh, swap out that carburetor now So the carb is off, but the throttle cable is attached internally. So I got to take the cover off of this and uh, sweat be get the throttle cable detached so I can pull it out and put on the new carb. Well, this is a little hard to do one-handed while recording, but I just gotta flip the linkage up so that there's slack on the line and then I can just slide it up out of that slot. So while I have the carb out here, I'm gonna take this air box out too. Now there's an issue with the air box uh, besides there being a hole cut in it. Um, not that big a deal for racing applications, but you can see this is your air inlet here. So you can go in deep mud up to the seat and it will run over that. And you still got a few more inches before you're sucking in water. So if I go, up to the seat and uh, motor water it's gonna suck it in but that's not the issue I have uh, the owner told me that I bought it off of that it ran good until he put the can in on it and then it didn't seem like it ran that well well that's more air than stock so that's where you need to switch out the jets and whatnot uh, so what I'm actually gonna do temporarily is put that stock filter I have I'm hoping that it will fit over top of the can in so it'll give it a little more restriction like it had factory uh, just so it will run good. Um, I'm actually, I'm actually, I'm gonna try to run it with the new carb with that cane in, and if it runs fantastic, then great, and I'll leave it alone. Uh, otherwise, I'll be slipping that filter I got over top of this uh, because there's actually a metal cage that's supposed to attach. It's just like a little metal tube with uh, a wire cage that that factory filter I got would slip over, and with this cane in, uh, it replaces that and he has since discarded it and doesn't know where it is so I don't have the cage to put on the factory filter and the only option I have would be to try to stretch it over that cane in so contrary to what I just said I'm actually gonna switch the carbon and all that first and then see if it runs good as is and if not then I'm gonna try to I'm either gonna have to slip the factory filter over that cane in or I'm gonna have to uh, source the cage which is not easy to find or switch out the jets, but I'm not really wanting to mess with that yet. So the mousy nest. Don't think he's in there anymore. I'd hope not, considering I rode this for quite a while. May I see, uh, there's supposed to be a metal cage that hooks in there just like this does. And... Yummy. 
smells really bad. <laughs> I think uh, this may be part of the problem you had. There's a gap there where it's not actually sealing. So I'm probably going to stuff something in here like an old rag or something to press against the end. That way it'll keep that sealed completely. All right, there's a new carburetor. This line is just a drain line or whatever. There's this top line here. When I took it off, it was just about three inches long and just sitting there. Um, I think that's also just like another vent line. And it's got that perfect little cut out there and the seat doesn't hook into that. So I believe that that is where it goes. Just another vent line. So I tucked it up in there out of the way to uh, keep it from getting any since that line's at the top, I don't want it getting any water and dirt and stuff in there. So I think that's where it goes. Not 100% sure. Uh, but this one definitely came out the bottom. That was the main fuel line. And that top one, like I said, when I took it off, there was just three inches sitting up here. So I got the whole super long line. <laughs> Fucking B. So I just looped it up there. So I guess as far as the fuel filter goes, if you want to run a fuel filter, I, I thought I had one since I could buy them for it, but I guess not. It's, it's your fuel line right here, so I guess if you wanted a fuel filter, then you would just cut this line, splice it, and stick it in there, which uh, I'm going to do because hopefully that'll keep the carburetor from getting gunked up. That way I don't have to ever go through this again. So it seems like it's optional, but it's a good option, so I'm going to modify this line real quick and get my fuel filter in there. All right, there she is. So it's a little, eh, it's not tight. See, it mounts right there. So I would like another half inch of play there, but it should be fine if I have any issues. I got plenty of line to redo it. All right, so I made a dumb mistake. I forgot my oil filter it goes right here. Um, but I got all that fresh oil in there and I don't really want to drain it and have it run all over the dirt and shit on the bottom of the engine and then put it back in. So I'll probably be getting less crap circulated by just leaving the old oil filter until the next time. So that's what I'm going to do. I will change my oil filter the next time around. So brand new carb, new fuel line, fuel filter. Uh, 
Let's see what else did we do? Just put some more gas in it. New spark plug. So I want to run down to the gas station and get some 93. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and see if it'll fire up and if it'll run better. Right now we just got 87 in it, probably a third of a tank. I'm gonna fill up the rest with uh, 93 after this. But hopefully it's good to go. If it runs great on a uh, 87, it'll definitely run great on 93. But well, let's see what happens. Turn this fuel line, see if. Yeah, cool. I didn't know if it would. Uh... Yeah, you can see it filling up the carburetor in the line. That's cool. I'm not moving and the uh, fuel is moving, so there you go, stop filling up and full. Cool. That's cool to see that. You wouldn't see that otherwise. It's also part of the reason I got that. And you can, uh, this one's actually uh, reverse flow if you want to clean this one out instead of filling up like the paper one does. These are little uh, mesh, little metal balls, I don't know what to call it, but uh, fuel comes in that way, obviously, and then if it gets gunked up with shit, you can just pop it off and uh, blow air through it in reverse direction, and it'll clear it out. Yeah, it's not even warmed up yet and I already got the feed. I started with full choke very quickly, switched to uh, half choke because it sounded like it uh, was starting to die out, it ran great. And uh, right there, it revved up on me because I was adjusting the idle screw uh, with the choke out some. So when I took the choke off, it started revving up. So I had to reverse my adjustments and back the idle screw back down. So running so much better already <laughs> and then the chokes completely off already and it's not even warm yet so that's fantastic so I'm gonna let her warm up and we'll do some rips on it sounds really good uh, no hiccup at all an immediate throttle response I thought I pressed record but I I don't think I did, I just put some chain lube on it because it was dry as a bone. So let's go take her for a spin and see how she does now with that new carb and everything.
So yeah, I think that about does the trick then. Running freaking perfect. So I still want to put a little higher grade in there. Should run a little better on that. Help kick that uh, carb clean. I guess that the uh, I've heard this before. Plus, a viewer just told me on the last video that higher test has uh, less of the uh, ethanol or methanol or whatever it is. The shit that's bad for the carbs that gunks it up. So there's a few little quirks I still want to fix. It probably could use wheel bearings and carrier bearings all the way around. Uh, the clutch, I gotta let it all the way out before it grabs. So I'm gonna see if I can adjust that or I might have to replace the clutch. And uh, brakes are really, really weak. Uh, I got new pads for it though, but they probably need a combination of new pads and adjusted. Then also, it rides really rough. I just let some air out of the tires. And it seemed to help a little bit, but I think it's just, you know, it's original shocks and springs, so you could probably use those upgrade. I'm not that worried about it, but uh, this thing's rough out here in the yard, so I'm imagining on a trail it's going to beat the hell out of me. So eventually I'm probably going to replace the uh, shocks and springs also. Also, uh, with it running, it's really, really hard to get it into neutral. It either goes to first or second, and the shifter's really stiff too, so... Maybe that has something to do with that clutch, I don't know, but I gotta figure that out too, because it's like, it's damn near impossible to get a neutral while it's running, and it's gonna be an issue trail riding, because I need to find neutral while it's running to put it in the reverse. <laughs> I didn't know if it would go or not. Couldn't get in neutral, and as soon as I shut it off, boop, goes right into neutral, no problem. So, yeah, so she's finally running right. Uh, like I said, next time I change the oil, I'll be sure to remember to change the oil filter. Got a few little things I still want to fix on it. Uh, other than that, I'll probably be doing some modifications in the future with like the exhaust and whatnot, rejutting the carb to match the exhaust and the intake. Um, definitely be taking it out on trails here soon. So, I have some videos coming up like. Oh, I don't know, some top speed runs and some jumps and wheelies and whatnot. Taking it out trail riding. Um, have some videos of that. I might race it against one of the cars or something. But uh, anyways, I appreciate you watching. Uh, if you want to know when I post, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, click all. If you like the video, remember to hit the like button. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.